Hello you guys, this is Fun and Automotive, and in this video today is going to be <clears throat> an update video for the upper control arm spacers on these JBA control arms. Now I've been getting a handful of people, more than that, of people <clears throat> asking about these ball joints because the links are expired now and nobody could find them. I couldn't even find them for quite a while. So <clears throat> this video is going to be an update video of that with fresh updated links for the upper control arm JBA spacers. So let me show you guys what they look like. If you haven't seen them before, I'll show you what they look like. And mainly <clears throat> just so that the new subscribers don't have to go all the way down in the videos just to find the up control arm spacer link. This will be a fresh up top video just for you guys to be able to see and know where to get them. So they'll be fresh and easy to find. Let's do it. Okay, let's start the video off by walking up to it. Now let's look at the upper control arm. Now, and there it is. As you guys know, for the people that don't know, <clears throat> it's quite simple. Here is the knuckle. The upper control arm ball joint goes into that. As you can see, right there, goes right into that. Spacer, spacer comes right in between it and then the upper control arm right up top. Now, these bolts <clears throat> are not original with the upper control arm spacer. These bolts, they are, these bolts are from Home Depot. They are grade eight. These are grade eight bolts and they are two inches long. <clears throat> and I, I, I wasn't, I, if you look back in my older videos, you'll see what thread, what thread um, they are. Can't seem to remember that right now, but these are, you need two inches long with the JBA control arm spacer to go into the hub to the um, upper ball joint. You need two inch bolts to be able to go right through with enough room to grab nicely. Let me see if I can show you that. All the way through, all the way down to the bottom. These are the original nuts that came with the JBA, uh, JBA upper control arm. So you can see, JBA. But these are the original lock nuts, the lock nuts to the JBA control arm. So these are the only aftermarket bolts, grade eight. Can't stress it enough. You don't need grade eight, I'm sure, but grade eight is what I'm, I used because, you know, I am running a spacer. So these are grade eight bolts, as I just said, one inch spacer. And the upper control arm, JBA upper control arm. And this is on a five inch lift right now on a Jeep Liberty. And yeah, but this this will be everything that you guys will need. The, the spacer link will be updated and very modern and new. So it shouldn't disappear and expire or whatever it did again or if it does it won't be for a good while so this is just that update video for you guys and help you guys out and the people that do need it the newcomers coming into this community this will this will help you out it's easy to do you can do it yourself simple 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 very easy Don't... all right now i hope you guys liked the video you know short easy informational video um just to get the word out there again just that these links are I found them again. Uh, I think it's a new seller. I'm pretty positive it is. So, if you guys like that and you don't have the, you know, the, um, uh, what was I going to say? Well, anyways, if you guys have the upper control arm spacers and you're having problems with the upper control arm bumping into the spring a bit when you go over bumps, this is going to be your, op your, um, this is going to be your option that you're going to need to be able to get that spring away from, or the upper control arm, UCA control arm, the upper control arm away from that spring and 
not be embarrassing when you're next to people at the mall going through or at the store and you hit a speed bump and you hear it just king. Yeah, that doesn't sound, that never sounds right. So this is going to be your option for that. This will get the, this will get it away and get it right back to where it needs to be. And it's legit. This ain't crap. They're solid aluminum. I've never had a problem with mine. I think I've ran mine for about a year now. Maybe, yeah, a little over a year now, I'm pretty sure, and I've never had a problem with it. No issues whatsoever. It's held up like a champ. Solid, solid, solid. So, this is Fun Automotive, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.